Hey what's up guys welcome to another video Samsung Galaxy S20 Fan Edition 5G infographic reveals all the key specification we already know that the unpacked event for the S20 Fan Edition is going to be held on September 23 where Samsung is going to officially announce the device but we already know that there are some specification and leaks in form of a bits and pieces now a new leak which is coming from even blast shared the full infographic of the device which gives us a rundown of its key specifications and more looks into its colorful design the images also confirm previous speculation on the hardware front including a 6.5 inch of super amoled display with 120 hertz of refresh rate the device is going to be coming with an under display fingerprint sensor and the display is going to be a flat display instead of the curved edges which we have seen in the note 20 devices the front is also protected with ip68 water and dust resistance although we didn't know about which kind of gorilla glass protection we will find out on this device also the front is coming with a punch hole camera cutout which is going to provide us a 32 megapixel of a selfie camera while well, moving on towards the back side of the device, we are not yet been sure that whether we see a gloss on the back side or a plastic body, but anyhow, the camera sensor details has been leaked. There are triple camera sensor on the back side in similar shape, just like the Note 20, and it is coming with a 12 megapixel of a main camera sensor, a 12 megapixel of an ultra wide camera, and an 8 megapixel of telephoto lens. There are certainly many images which has been shared, which gives us the performance of the cameras. And if we look at those images very clearly, you will notice that the telephoto lens is going to be coming with a 3 time of optical zoom and a 30 time of digital zoom. And the quality of those images are looking great in the images. The device camera app will also come with a night mode and it gives us in the pictures a clear details of the night photo shots which it can take. Also, the images which are coming from selfie are looking great as well. So the question arises to which Android software it will be coming in. So basically, I am expecting that the device is going to be coming with an Android 10 support with a One UI 2.5 on top of that. And maybe later in the year or the next year, we might see an upgrade of Android 11 and One UI 3.0. Moving on towards the internals, well, there are speculation that we might see two different devices in two different processors. One is coming with a Snapdragon 865 with a 5G support, whereas the other is going to be an Exynos 990 with a 4G variant. Although I was not expecting that Samsung will bring an Exynos 990 chipset inside the S20 Fan Edition, probably this is going to be one of the disappointing thing if Samsung brings the Exynos variant back in their S20 Fan Edition. Anyhow, moving on, the images showcase that the device is going to be coming with an 8 GB of RAM and since that device is going to be a 5G variant then it is expected to be coming with similar kind of a RAM memory inside. It is also coming with 128 GB of internal storage. The internal battery specification has also been revealed and we will see a 5G variant of Samsung Galaxy S20 Fan Edition with a 4500 mAh for battery whereas the 4G variant is expected to be coming in 4000 mAh for battery which is 500 mAh less than the 5G variant. And that is going to be a game changer because many of the users who will buy the 4G variant will expect from Samsung to bring down the price tag of the device because once it is coming with an Exynos 990 processor and second it's a 4G variant and the third that it is going to be coming with a less battery power. So we can expect that the price for that particular device will be lesser than the 5G variant. Anyhow, there are many leaks which are suggesting that the price will be starting at 700 euros. We may expect that the 4G variant might have a different price tag. The fast charging capability is also being supported inside the device and also it is supported by fast wireless charging 2.0 and with that it is also supported by reverse wireless charging or wireless power share. Also there is another image which showcase that the device is going to be coming with 120 hertz of refresh rate and I personally believe that this 120 hertz of refresh rate is going to be a dynamic refresh rate just we have seen in the Note 20 series because personally I feel that 4500 mAh of battery capacity will be challenged by this 120 hertz of refresh rate and 5G support. It's also supported by Samsung Desk, a quick share support which we have seen in the Note 20. Might be we see the same technology inside the S20 Fan Edition. So guys, what do you think about the S20 Fan Edition? Are you excited about that device? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you are new here, do consider subscribing my channel for more updates. Thanks for watching this video. Peace out.